Hi everybody, uh, my name is uh, Javier Cabrera, I'm a PhD student at KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Sweden. I'm really happy of staying here and being able to uh, speak about, uh, about our work in this uh, More VM uh, workshop edition. And today I will be talking uh, about the super optimization in WebAssembly. Uh, as the best of our knowledge, uh, we think that this is the first completed approach to achieve uh, super optimization. Uh, in WebAssembly. WebAssembly is a new uh, language format that is supported for my browser vendors. Uh, it is uh, to be uh, executed efficiently in these browsers. Uh, it is delivered to the web, uh, web browser clients as any other elements in creating a web page, for example, JavaScript or CSS. So this means that in this context, having a smaller WebAssembly binaries means uh, low uh, latency and uh, low uh, page load time, improving the experience in the web. The main difference with the other elements degraded in a web page is that WebAssembly needs to be uh, compiled beforehand from source code. In this case, it can be, for example, C, C++ or Rust. This compilation also pass through several optimization stages before reaching the final uh, web assembly construction. So we wanted to go a step forward adding super optimization to these uh, uh, optimization stages as some aggressive uh, new optimization technique. Super optimization is a searching strategy over all possible programs Given an input program, it uh, finds for a program that is uh, smaller and faster than the given one. Exploring all the possible programs that can be constructed uh, for uh, a given instruction set. For example, if you can uh, start this program searching, looking for all programs that you can conform with only one instruction from this instruction set. Then all the programs that you can construct with two instructions and so on until you find the uh, program that is a perfect replacement for this given program. So, to be a perfect replacement, these new programs need to be functionally equivalent to the input program and needs to be smaller. So, following this technique and or this uh, a space exploration of all possible programs, a super optimizer can be better than standard optimization techniques. However, it's really expensive in terms of time, and it also needs an equivalence checker to check if the program that is found is functionally equivalent to the given program. Usually, this is guaranteed using symbolic evaluation on both, uh, on both uh, programs. So, there exist several solutions for super optimizers and also implementations. And one of these implementations is Super. Super is a super optimizer for LLVM and it is presented as an optimizer at the end for a standard uh, compilation tool chain using LLVM. So, this means that any program that is compiled using this LLVM tool chain can be also super optimized. Also, since version 8, WebAssembly is supported in LLVM as a backend uh, platform. So, meaning that any program that can be compiled from uh, uh, in LLVM uh, using that is they call an LLVM frontend can also be compiled to WebAssembly. So, here is where we put all together the super optimizer for LLVM and the final target, which is WebAssembly, given a program, we can construct WebAssembly that is super optimized. Now, we wanted to test it, uh, our pipeline and we selected programs from Rosetta Code. Rosetta Code, source code uh, so, uh, is a source uh, code repository where all programs are uh, solutions to common and simple uh, problems. These programs are small they have none or only one input combination. So this means that we can manually analyze the code in case and also we are able of executing the program 
before and after the super optimization stage. Meantime, we also uh, avoid the migration of full test suite like cases with uh, real world code bases. Here you can see our uh, result for this research. For the 12th program, we have uh, improvement in uh, we have improved eight of these programs, and we have one really good case with uh, a 50 percent of uh, size reduction. However, we also wanted to remark that we have a code uh, size regression, and this is because we are using super and use and super uses an abstraction layer instead of the real instruction set uh, to generate these uh, super optimized programs. If we wanted to go a little bit deeper, we can analyze our base case, which is Babash problem. As you can see in the code, the Babash problem iterates to a variable, increasing a variable until it reaches the Babash condition. Technically, this uh, variable can be also inferred if we unfold the loop the correct number of times. LLVM is not able of doing this uh, and however super optimizers and, sup and specifically super can deal with these cases inferring correctly the variable. As you can see in this uh, final figure we uh, executed the both programs, the super optimized one and the uh, original program, and we can see that there is a remarkable difference between the execution time between the super optimized program and the one which is not optimized. We managed to execute all the programs in Chrome, and uh, we see that uh, we saw that these uh, programs. Uh, behave uh, runs in, in Chrome and behave equally. Uh, specifically, the ones with improved size, we saw also that they behave equally and faster than original programs. Right now, we also are testing with real world code bases, for example, SQLite, and uh, we have a solution to migrate the full test suite of these uh, cases, for example. But uh, preliminary results shows that there is in fact an improvement in the size of the code that is delivered. To sum up, super optimization on WebAssembly can deliver smaller binaries, which mean faster delivery to clients. And as I mentioned before, this super optimized code uh, behaves faster than standard uh, compilations. Uh, we wanted to remark that uh, super optimization is a complementary technique to uh, pre-existing optimization technique and not a replacement. Our future work uh, will be focused on uh, handling uh, source code that is not uh, handled by uh, our current pipeline. Pipe also, support can be used outside the LLVM tool chain. So this means that if you port any language to the super internal representation, then you can have super optimization outside the LLVM tool chain. Specifically, we wanted to port WebAssembly directly to super and back. We wanted also to remark that super optimization with super can miss some optimizations and uh, can overfit some of them because, so, as I mentioned before, super uses an abstraction layer and not the real instruction set. So thank you all for listening to me. Uh, if you want to keep the discussion open, uh, I will leave here my email and then you can write me or, the, or just you can uh, leave a, a comment in the, in the uh, video description. Thank you all again. See you.